Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Colin the Boss YouTube video where today we are playing Train Sim World 3. All I gotta do is sign in, so one second. 12 seconds later. Okay, I'm back. We are at the identity created screen. This is the first time playing this game for me, actually. I had Train Sim World 2. We're gonna see how 3 is. Uh, let's create a new profile. And this... Okay. Uh... CTB rec. Understand. No. Yeah, no. Um, I am experienced. TO THE TRAINS! Okay. Uh, let's pick a train. Timetable? Take predetermined tests on your route. Jump into a lifelike timetable. Let's try the scenarios. So there's one engine that I really want to mess with. This one. So this one seems fun, however, I'll probably actually save that for the 4th of July, that'd be fun. Uh, switching, mixed power, take control of a southbound cold train entering Elkhorn, collect a coal, collect a coal from various industries before running south on the main line, and then limited power. So there's not a lot of good scenarios with that engine. Um, we could just do actually some switching. Tasked with cutting trains to aggregate cars and hauling them to sections of the line that require. You have been tasked with cutting trains of aggregate cars and hauling them to sections of the line that require track maintenance. That one seems fun. Santa Clara, Savior, a local pasture has failed just outside of Santa Clara. You must take the MP15s out of the failed train and back and be repaired and assessed before it returns to service. This one I've done before in the old one, but we'll see how it is in the new one. Um, I think this one's actually really fun. I really do like it. It um, so basically, let's there's a train. The it explained it, but there's a there's a bullet train that has broken down just outside of Santa Clara in California. And we have to take switcher, go switch them out. Good afternoon, you've been tasked with handling and cutting the forming of trains, zoom off, and dealing with any failed trains that require rescue. Okie dokie. Pretty good. That's, uh... Oh crap, we're doing doubled? Ooh, that's a weird one. The lag, man! Oh, I've used the cab door. Let me check something, I think. One thing is adjusting so much better. However, you can't take get rid of the motion blur, which annoys crap out of me. Insert the reverser. There we go. Set the independent to full braking. So now I'm going to be using keyboard. Okay, we're going to release this. At least. And now we're waiting for the brakes to charge, which is here. There it is. So set the brake cutout valve to passenger, which is that one. Set the MU to lead. Lead. There we go. Okay, we're going to turn the gen field on. Set the number lights on and the... I don't know what that one is. Okay, independent off. Independent off, reverse for forwards, do horns in. We have to wait for service to pass. Failed and is now stranded on the main line. You must head to Santa Clara and rescue the service. Kidoki. A few inches later. And front lights on. Rear lights dim. Kidoki. Okie dokie. By two notches. OK, 
Okay. So I'm looking for oh, the speedometers there. There it is. I just didn't see it. Turn the bell off. Okay, okay. So in this style of locomotive, uh, notch one will not cause um, will not cause any. Uh, up like you won't you won't hear the engine rev up. It's not required in these also no map What you can't control what there it is That one's switched that one's switched so we need to get to Santa Claire so we need to drive all the way down here, and this is our target, which we are all set up to do, I believe. I don't know why map button isn't working, but okay. Just waiting for the 10 mile an hour zone to kick in. Just there. Stick her up to notch two, get her up to 10. Notch one. Probably will still climb. Yep. Knock it off. You hear these, uh, are not meant to go this fast. It's based on the noise it's making. I really don't like the speed. Start slamming on the brakes here. Okay, we're gonna really start slamming on the brakes here. It's probably actually fine that we go through those as fast as we were. Which is probably better that we don't. Because it says go via location, so I don't have to stop here. It's just better to slow down, especially for this. You're approaching. Further reports indicate that one of the generators in the locomotive is so heated. Slowly approach and couple to the rear of the locomotive. These people are idiots. Proceed at restricted speed. Now I know that from doing this for multiple times. But you know, a lot of people don't. So basically, if you know you're approaching a red signal, you have to tell them, hey, am I clear to bypass this red signal? And they say, yep, okay, let's go. Because I am a service train and I need to pull this one off. Dump the brakes. Uh. Bail off. We want about two mile an hour to smack them. Boom. There we go. Okay, we're going to set that. Okay, we're going to set that. Take the bell off. I believe I have to get out and unhook it. Because I don't think they can actually move a locomotive with this. No, they already disconnected it. Okay. I really want to do it from this side. No, I really don't. So we're going to series four stalling. We're going to set this to cutout and trail. Drop that one off. Take the reverser out. Put it away. Headlights off. Good. Number of lights on. Generator field off. Now let's get out of this seat. I want to double check. This one is in uh, coupled with the unit coupled at cabin. Or no, controlled. Rear controlled. This. 
that, open this crossing, open that crossing. E, go on the path. Focus to lead. Passenger. Either. Focus to controlling with unit couple to cabin. Get in the passenger to the engineer seat. Forgot to do something. Forgot to do something. So I need to uh, set this to passenger. I need to put it in handle off. Then dump it. Set to trail, man. Cut out. Trail. It shouldn't be dumping all its air now. Oh, it's probably because that one's in handle off. The reason all this air leaking. There it goes. Okie dokie. First her handle in, set to forwards, road. Give me a second, okay. That's failed. Okay, we shouldn't be dragging. Which I don't believe we are. Now oh, we're hauling the whole train. Ah! Reduction off and then initial reduction again. Okay, so we're gonna go into the yard here in a few seconds once it lets us. Sorry, I know you guys can't read that. Uh, you have reached the CEMOF depot, bring the train to the yard and await further instructions. C-E-M-O-F has manual switches. Grab, climb down, and switch them manually before proceeding. So, hold on one second. Gotta check one thing. Gotta adjust one thing. What is the map button? The map button is not a thing anymore. Dang. That sucks. Oh no, wait. Open map is nine. Okay. It's basically we need to, and you can switch these from in cab, from in cab, you just have to do it here. I have learned about. So that's where we're going. Okay. Throttle up before you release. Amper build. Release it. Okay, as soon as your brakes is under, read zero. Go into throttle three. Throttle four. trying to break that rolling resistance. Trying to break that rolling resistance.
That is some weird texture glitching. Neat. Doing good so far. Drop it. Wait patiently. Ooh, we actually hit this mark per mark perfectly. However, we may stop short. We're gonna stop short. Now we are. Now we still are. Come on, power! There we go. Now we will not stop short. We will stop on the money. Set the brakes. Now cut the failed engine and bring it over to the maintenance tracks so repairs can be again. Spray locomotives brought into service as a replacement. Okay, so we're going to set this to handle off, which is better to do by, you know, hand. Handle off. You'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. So it's going to sit there and blow air the whole time. There we go. And we are going to on the other side. Locomotive and through the back hatch now. And I can climb up this one though. Climb up these steps. Turn that. Alright, flew off of there. You want to disconnect it from there and from there. Couplers are both unlocked. Well, actually, no, I don't want this one unlocked. Do I want it locked still? Right now, I want it unlocked. bar and try to fight with it later. Uh, Key Smokey. I'm going to release. Just going to take no time to fill those simple brake cylinders now that we've got. There's all these heaters and stuff, which is nice. The bell. Sanders. A horn. It's just a button. Radio, you know, all that good stuff. My bad. Wasn't paying attention. Was looking at other things. Sorry. It's not like it matters, to be honest with you. We're in a yard anyway. <laughs> from the cars behind, from the engines behind me smacking into me smacking into me if he stop right there perfect get up get. why does it do this man get this walk over here oh, I want to let me go down the steps now there it goes you should always climb down steps facing backwards. You want three hands on at all time. This is how switches are thrown. Shunk. That one is set up. That one is set up. I think the third one is set up. 
Did I take the reverse route and did I check the engine neutral? No, I did not. Kill me later. It's not, it's this one. Yep. This one. And that one's straight. Yep, okay, we're good. No, I didn't, I, I threw the switch. Okay, that was a graph, graphical glitch then. Yeah, okay, Smokey. I will get back to you when I'm back in the locomotive. Okay, let's hop back in. That was quite a long walk. Shut this door. There's all these rules. Draining locomotive watering systems for draining retention tanks. Ooh, neat. Didn't know that. You know, there's sun visors and stuff and the uh, wiper handles, which you can move manually or you can turn these valves. Wipers move. However, they do not stop. So you have to shut them. We've got lights. You know, there's lights there. There's another sun visor. I believe that is something else. We've got prime and start, ditch lights on both sides, uh, emergency release is there, or emergency brake is there, there's seats, second man's seat, there is the sidewall auxiliary heater, I don't know what that box is for, so a lot of these are different from what I'm used to, so here we've got front lights, number lights, these are front number lights. Weird. I had those turned on. Oh well. That platform light. See, that should be on. I don't know why it's not doing that. The thing I was messing with earlier ground reset, engine shut off, auto drain, safety devices on. Which get annoying a lot of the time. So we'll turn those back off. Radio, auxiliary heater, auxiliary heater control, lights, local control, headlights, fuel pumps. There's all the big fuses down here. Fuse test light, main breaker fuse. Then, you know, we saw all this. We've got a uh, gauge illumination. Ta da! there's anything else over here we've got the signal light which allows you to switch to the rear light for the signal light or the front light for the signal light so it switches it flips these around um, it also switches the ditch lights around and then we've got you know the service selector so now we're gonna flip this over to switching here it kick up so you hear the engine rev up that is meant for if you are actually like going through and switching constantly. Switching one, is, or like pushing heavy objects. Switching two, switching one is normal. Yeah, number lights are on. Okie dokie, so let's hop in this engineer seat now. Dokie, click the reverser. Reverse. Dump the independent. Back we go. Now this one I leave my bell on because I can't see the end of this locomotive. You can't see the end of it right now. So you have to kind of judge your distance between you and that rear locomotive. Which is hard to do in this sense. You know, it is very hard to do that in this sense. Without, um, you know, your uh, sense of distance. You can't really... Cannot really make that assumption as to where the end of the locomotive is. Depth perception, that's what it is. Yeah, if you don't have depth perception, like in this game where it's a flat screen... You don't know where the end of that locomotive is. You're just judging based on where you think it is. Now you can go into the outside views like I was doing earlier, but this time we're actually going to try to stop this on that mark without getting into the exterior views. Waiting 
for it to do its last curve. I was waiting for it to do There it is. Yeah, I was like, I thought it would have hit its last curve. Apparently it's shorter than I thought. So we're going to open these windows, and I believe it's... I don't remember how to do that now. Slam on the attendants. I gotta remember how to do this. Hold on. Nope, that's wipers. That's the bell. I swear I used to remember how to do this. Nope. Nope. There it is. So, we're gonna continue backwards. Okay, and he's gone. I don't know why it took him that long to tell us to disconnect the locomotive. No. Don't understand that. Come on, let me climb down. There you go. Okie dokie, we're gonna come down here. Pull this one. Pull this one. Right, for a moment, that is complete. Bring your vehicle locomotives back over to the storage pack. Okie dokie, so we're gonna switch sides again. Handle off. Trail that off. Trail. Cut out. Dokie, you gotta shut up. Dokie, we're going to go back to series. That one off, that one off. Control from the unit couple to either end. Generator field off. Okie dokie, so then we shut this door, shut this door, go along this path, along this path, open this door, controlling with unit couple to the cab end, yep, slam that shut, lead, passenger, Put that load back up, we're going to go into switching mode. Okay, generator field on, this one on, on, this one on. Well, actually, we're going to do this and this. I'm going to set this to rear. I forgot to take the, I forgot to do one last thing. Hold on. So you have to go in here and don't forget to pull the stinking reverse handle out. Thank you. I get it, gen field's off. That doesn't matter. You've got to remember to pull the reverser out or else you get major problems. Yoki, everything is set up here. Stick this back in. Yoki, so if you look at two, and we switch this back engine, he, I think the signal light is technically, yeah, technically in the rear. Turn on the rear, dim the front. You go back here, you can now see that the lights are on on that locomotive. So we're just going backwards for a little bit. Two. Okie dokie, switching head ends. Two. That bailed off. And now you can see everything is moving. I'm about to throw that over its speed limiter. Because, of course, I am. Yards are buttheads, man. Shut up.
these back up to front, these on right, these on dim. Hop out. Oh, actually, let's go out the front. So I'll show you out the front. So if we walk down here, none of these work. Yep. We have got, as you see, none of these doors will open. You can't hop up on top of the motor of the locomotive. Right, so climb down these stairs here. Run down this direction, flick this switch. Look at our map really quickly. So I believe we are set up on every other switch to get back to where we're going. Yep, we just gotta get all the way down there. Good dokie. Hopping up. Okay, so I will meet you down at the other end of the yard. Let's go! Okie dokie, let's do our last shutdown procedures. Pop that off, pop that out. Full application. This is suppression. Just cut out. Set the handbrake to handle off. Release that. Set this to trail. Foot off switch to that. Make a break before your next time. Okay, shut her down. And that shuts both of them down because they're connected. So here we go. We are done. Okay. Let's go to our break room. There we go. 49 minutes. Coolio, look at that. Nice, nice. Did pretty good. Okie dokie. Let me pick another scenario and then I'll get right back with you guys. Okay, everybody. We're going to be taking this late night train that started in LA and is going to Houston. We're gonna start at San Bernardino and we're gonna end at Victorville. This is 71 cars, 5,500 tons, and about 6,500 feet, 6,600 feet. So, one, two, one, cab lights, thank you. Is that actually the stinking, that's the, the desk light. It is cab light. Cab light, oh, that sucks. So, engine run, generator flip on, control on, gauge lights on, there we go, step lights on, oh, dynamic brake is there, emergency lights, window heaters, gauge light dimmer, nope, horn, horn sequencer, so we're looking for headlights here, bright auxiliary, it's chilly outside, so we're going to Heat. Um, I'll 
also, I have to get out of here. Well, it stopped lagging. Jeez. Refrigerator, that is cab signals. Yep. Cab signals on. Help control, yep. I would have thought there would have been service tag. Oh my gosh, the lag. Let me fix this again. Let's try that. Let's see if that helps. So we've got cab dome light. There it is. There's cab light. Turn that off here a little bit. He has a horn control. I'm looking for the um Oh, is it here? Oh, it's under this control cover. Here we go. Short hood lead run. Number lights on. Crosswalk lights on. Control pumped on. There we go. Okay, so it's going to tell me here really quickly. Oh, are you sure you want to continue this? Yes, I do. I'm doing some things, please. Okay, so you can see that they're on. Cross over. Open this door. Light on. Open this door. Come in here. Turn this on. Make sure this one's set up. Is it a single or middle unit? It is a middle unit. Okay. You can see your crosswalk lights are on. It should show that there are crosswalk lights on, number lights on. Shut this We're over here. I am looking for step lights there. Would you like to give him control of the surface? No, I'm double checking everything. Okay, get that. Okay, we're doing good. Turn on this on low heat as well. Okay. So we don't need any of those, even though it's chilly out. So we're going to leave that open. You'll see why back here, cross over, up here, this is the last one, nope, we're still in a middle unit, Yokie, crosswalk lights on, that, that. I don't need to turn that on, uh, okay, I'm going to turn this on, low heat, up here, step lights are on, I want to keep that open because I want to run back through here. Shut this control cover, run down here. Okay. Crossing, crossing, cross over. This should be the last one. Yep, I can see the outer rocks now. Okay, so short head trail. That one, that one. Shut the control cover. Handle off, independent. I think everything else is controlled through there. Uh, everything is good. Okie dokie. So, let's uh, shut this one. Press over. Shut that door. walk up this step here. Come on. Why can't I walk up this step? Okay, let's walk around the back of the commodity. Can I shut this door from here? Yes, I can. I got it. Can I climb up this locomotive? Basically, I'm just double checking that everything is set up. You know, don't want to make any mistakes here? Yoki, all oh, this is set up correctly. Yep. Yoki. Shut off the cab dome lights. Right down here. Shut this door. Shut 
this door, cross over. Okay, we are prepared. And shut off the cab light, shut this. So that's the nose. This light on, shut this light off here. Nope, it always keeps one of them on, okay. So let's, is that gonna be blinding? Yeah, it's gonna be blinding. That's off, so in the engineer's seat. So, double check, we are set for freight lead. Got fuel low. Yep, yep, yep. Brake. No, I want. Oh, wrong buttons. Nope. Didn't let me do anything with that one. Okay. Generator field is on. We are departing. Okie dokie. So let's. Can I dim this light? Because I know there's a light there. So let's uh, step up for a second. So I know there's this light here. Wiper speed, wiper speed, light. This has a fan. I thought there was. There it is. Yes, this one's already down all the way. So I just need to turn this one off. Okie dokie, let's turn our heaters on then. Dokie. Down in our chair. Get forward. Oh, gotta put the cursor uh, in. Forwards. I know. Shut up. Hooky, smooky, chooky. which I'm not going to use. Alerter, sanding, spotter circuit, train line ground. So, yep, okay. so let's shut these windows then. Now shut three. Bell, horn, horn sequencer, and alert. Looking ahead, got a locomotive there. Check that all our lights are on in front. They are. Kiki, we just don't have ditch lights that swiggle swaggle. Kiki. And notch five. Okie dokie, I'm gonna get some cool cinematic shots, and if anything interesting happens, I will tell you guys. So, let's see what happens.
Okay, so it has appeared to have started to uh, snow. So I gotta remember which one that is. Nope. Nope, not that one. It's uh, V, that's right. So we're coming up towards Summit. It is starting to snow. There we go, perfect. Maybe even a touch lower than that. Touch faster. Just a hair faster. Maybe that'll do it. There it is. Perfect. Doogie, we've got a green signal. I still have not passed like 30 mile an hour this whole trip up here. It really is taking a lot of power to try to take this up there. And I have broken the game. I keep getting this constant horn. And I don't know where it's coming from. I think it's because I hit the horn button in the middle of a break. But I can't get it to go away. At all. So I guess I'm going to deal with this for the next uh, 30 minutes as we head towards the summit. So that's fun. I don't know how to fix it other than restart, which I've done once. But I've taken a lot of time into this one. I at least want to get a freight over the summit. I may have to do a pasture over the summit instead. Let's see. Uh, we are getting wheel slip now, so sanding. Slip. So that's what it says. Is we got a vibration, pretty nasty vibration. So I'm gonna turn this heat up to high now. I don't know what those mean. Let's check the uh, HUD guide. Wheel slip indicator. Yeah, it shows we are wheel slipping. So sanding is going down. I can now see it on the display. Yeah, okay, that's not helping. So I guess we're knocking it down two notches. Right, again, there we go. Now we got it. So we're off the wheel slip now. We are in the snow. And knock it up to seven. There's the horn again, randomly. I don't know how to fix it. Notch eight. Nope, there's the wheel slip. Okay, I'm gonna do hopefully a sand cine or a snow cinematic without the horn. Let's see if I can do that. So hopefully it didn't show up too bad during the cinematic shots, but you can hear it in the background. Again, uh, so it's not very fine-tuned. I don't think there's a feedback option. Nope. And I'm not restarting. So, unfortunately, I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Yep, nothing. Okie dokie, well, I tried. So we're just stuck with a constant horn every thousand, every mile or so. Oh, and the snow is making the trip up this uh, pass very hard. So 
so. Ah, uh, so much fun, man. Definitely think a passenger up this would be a lot more fun than a freight would is, so. Wheel slipping again. It's just because of the power we're putting down. Wrong button again. We're gonna come to a stop coming up here because we're gonna run out of power. Notch five. Still, we're pushing. We're coming up towards Summit. We are trying hard, man. But we are gonna run out of notches to the point where we will be stuck on the hill. I, I don't have the speed now to make it up this hill, and every time this hits about 55 thousand pounds on the motive power it starts to slip so what am I gonna do it's around 55,000 pounds that it starts to slip and it slips on all four of them okay maybe a little bit over it okay so we're not slipping yet there's the horn again I want to smack that thing hard Crossing, so. Good okay, so we're still holding a notch five, surprisingly. I don't think I can notch six in without it slipping. Oh, nope, we got notch six without a wheel slip. Okay. So we're gaining traction back as we come up closer to the summit. Oh, there's the traction loss. If you just try again. Oh, traction loss. Come on. There's a bit of traction as we go around the fence. Then we're losing it again. Gosh, I hit the wrong button every time. Okay, sand it and try to get the power to go down. Sand it and try to get the power to go down. I don't even know if we've got sand, how much sand we have left. This doesn't tell me. Okay, so, we are trying, man. Okay, I need to turn on one last thing. Heat, there we go. We start melting the snow off. Come on. How bad are we slipping? Can't tell. I don't think we're slipping too bad though. Well, if I get any more updates, I'll tell you. Okay, so I think I figured something out. I think that the locomotive has traction control. Stupid horn again. I think the thing has tra some sort of traction control because it's not pushing it over 62,000 pounds of traction force and I'm notching. So I think it has some way to know that it's slipping and tries to, to like traction control it. Like just tap it further up slowly and try to keep your speed built. So we'll see. It looks like we're getting into really, really dark conditions now as the sun has set all the way, so it's really dark out there, man. So I hope we don't get stopped. People are gonna comment on, uh, it, people are gonna comment on this and go, well, you should have known that you could just keep it a notch eight and the wheel slip indicator just says, hey, yeah, you're starting to slip, just don't touch it yet. I don't know that crap, man. Up a little bit. His wiper isn't kicking off for some reason. Oh well. Sand it. I'm gonna stand up for a second. Come over here and turn on his wiper. This is up here. There's two of them, right? Yeah, there's two of them. This about 50. This one about 50. Hi everyone, 
is not wiping either. However, I don't think we need them to wipe because we're going to go backwards. Why did I think I needed that? It's not, we're not going backwards, doesn't matter. I just need to be able to see out his window because I couldn't see out it. Man, it is getting really bad. But yeah, I think this has some sort of traction control kind of thing. Gosh dang, man. Okie dokie, that was a struggle for that one, but we are coming up on our final spot. Let's see, we've got some fog for some reason. Here we go, fix that, most of that. snow we picked up as we were coming up the coming down the hill even an application release and then minimum application and about 50 percent should bring us to a perfect stop and then full service as soon as we're on the spot Perfect. And that was that done. You can see a lot of the time we were here slowing down, slowing down. And then we started going up the summit. And then we came down the summit. And then I tried to keep it as close as I could all the way down to the end. So I think that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys next time when we do a passenger. Let's see how that goes.